All right, what is going on, guys? My name is MLG Praise or Davis, and I'm back with another Call of Duty commentary. I don't know how I missed season two. Um, I really don't, but I'm gonna give you season three um, or season two and three combined. These are my classes uh, for these seasons, and just for in general. Uh, as you can see, though, about my guy, he looks a little bit different. He's uh, got an Atlas Contractor um, shirt on. I'll show you right here. He's got an Atlas Contractor. Uh, where is it? Atlas Contractor shirt. Um, su support loadout. And I also got royalty gloves and knee pads. Um, so my guy looks a little bit different. Uh, I like it. He's got a little Christmas looking uh, guy. So, um, anyways, let's get on to the classes. Um, I've changed significantly, like I said, um, but I think I'm done for changing uh, after this because uh, in Black Ops 2, I used to be like an AR support, like an anchor, and um, I used an MAA1 and uh, sometimes an ASM1 or MSMC. Um, and then in Ghost, you know, the game was so awful, I kind of just picked whatever guns I felt like I wanted to use, and I just rushed stuff, hit stuff, so I used like an SMG. And I came to this game. And I kind of had the anchor mindset, you know, I was like, I'm going to anchor, it's kind of like Black Ops 2, I'm going to anchor this. And so I uh, was just finding anchor guns like an EM1 and stuff, and I was looking at anchor spots. And then, um, you know, at the last second, one of our OBJs dropped out, so I had to become OBJ. So I played OBJ for a good bit, and I liked it, but I was like, you know, this isn't really me. So then I went back because, you know, I play slower, so this is fitting me better because I, I like an S&D, I like to be the flank watcher. I don't like to be the guy pushing and planning, so, um, you know. This fits me better, and uh, that's what I decided to do. So now I'm an AR Slayer, uh, kind of like the Goon Jar, the formal, you know, you get it. So, um, yeah, let's get on with the classes. I have, I have, I don't have the 12 class slots, but I do have these 10 classes. Two are ASM1s, uh, I think uh, five BALs, and then three uh, IMRs. So our first ones are the IMRs. Um, I got, this is my standard respawn class for an IMR. Uh, you can you can see the attachments and stuff and um, I run EMPs but it depends on the game mode like if I want to run an IMR and um, uplink I'll run EMPs if I want to run it in CTF or hardpoint I'll run uh, stuns I'll just switch it at the last second uh, this is my SD class um, I got two SD classes one with a sniper one without the only difference is the one without a sniper has two frags um, so that's this is for like a map like uh, solar if I'm sitting back a or I don't really know when I'd use this class. It'd have to be like a pretty far away map, like a Detroit or something. Um, so now I want to BALs. This is my most used class for respawn and just my most used class. I uh, use it for most game modes. Um, hardpoint, CTF, not really uplink, maybe sometimes, but hardpoint, CTF, um, sometimes S and D, uh, and it's just a basic. Oh yeah, one thing I have forgotten to tell you guys is um. I like to run Atlas, the pistol, on my side. It makes me different. Like I said, I like to stand out. And plus, like, if I didn't run it, I'd have two um, nades. And the thing I've noticed is, like, I always die trying to throw nades. So if I only have one, then I just get it out there. And if it hits, it hits. You know, it's good that I threw one. So uh, I always run a pistol now on my side because um, if you get too many hit markers and you run out of ammo, because that happens a lot with um, ARs, like you shoot and then you just run out of ammo and you gotta reload, especially with the BAL, then you have that pistol to kill them if they're one shot. So I like it a lot um, rather than using a knife. It puts me a lot different than some people and I just like it. So this is, the fifth class is the same as the fourth, it's just I got an EMP. This is for CT, or uh, uplink. Um, class six, another one except this one is a little bit different. I got extended mags instead of um, foregrip. Uh, it's your call. I saw Tommy using this in the EU qualifiers, but uh, it worked for him. It could work for you. I don't really use this class much because, like, without foregrip, it kind of throws off my shot long range, and um, I just don't like that. But uh, I'll use it sometimes if, like, we're playing hardpoint and I just keep on having to reload. Now we get into S and D classes. I have two B A L S and D classes. One is just a standard, basically like my respawn, except I got mute and frags. Uh, you can see I have double frags, and I don't run danger close just because I've, it's never really worked for me. Um, then I have an overkill. Like I said, this would be uh, be for a like, map like Terrace if I was sitting on the roof or something. Uh, now my last two classes uh, I have changed, and the ASM ones too. I don't want to use it because, like I said, I like to put in the grind for one gun and make myself really good with that gun and just use it. So uh, I only have these two classes just in case, like I'm just doing completely awful, and. Um, as you can see, with my ARs, I have Quick Draw, and that's because they're a lot slower, 
So, you know, you got to have that quick draw. With a SMG, though, you don't need it. And what I've noticed is, like, players like Hugh and um, Decimate, no, I don't know his name, but uh, they like to run Laser Sight instead of Quick Draw. And it helps me out a lot better. I like it because, you know, it's give, it, first off, Quick Draw doesn't really help you. Like, if you see the stats, look at that. Minus 2 accuracy. Laser Sight gives you nothing except increased fire, hip fire accuracy. And um, so, yeah, I like to use that a lot better. I've got stuns, but like I said, I can change it to EMPs right now if I wanted to and play the match. Then I have the overkill. You guys, have pretty. I'm pretty sure you all have seen this class except for different ASM1 attachments. Um, I run thermal now. If that, if I wasn't running thermal before, I run thermal now. Uh, it's not as good long range, but it's definitely easier mid and short range. So I recommend thermal if you want to use a more sniper. And um, that's it for my classes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know that this is kind of a shorter one, but you know that's uh, my commentary. So thank you for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see.